Hey guys, I'm in my church office right now, my work office, but I wanted to tell you a little bit about our recent vacation. We had an amazing time. We flew down, Sean had chemo on Monday through Wednesday, and then on Thursday morning we left really, 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 really early, really, really, really early, and went, I uh, flew to Orlando where, where his little brother lives, and um, got there that evening. It was a very long day. We had a long layover. Uh, in Texas and um, but we got there it wasn't too bad it was two two plane rides and then um, we kind of rested on no we didn't rest on Friday um, his brother took Harrison and us to uh, Animal Kingdom Harrison really enjoyed that and uh, and then we rested on Saturday and then on Sunday we went to um, Hollywood Studios and uh, so we had a really good time at the two Disney parks. And um, that is actually on another video. I'll put the uh, link in the description and I'll try to put it on a card right here for you. Because um, I have a video just um, for those two part our travel day in those two parks. And then um, on Monday, we left. Um, actually, his brother, t we planned on Ubering, but his brother took off work and took us to... Um, to the to Cape Canaveral to the port and we uh, sailed on Independence of the Seas, Royal Caribbean's Independence of the Seas. Uh, we just have to do it before four. So we can go eat before? Mm -hmm. And it was a Monday, it was a four night. So we left Monday afternoon and we got back early, early Friday morning and got off the ship. Now, 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 real quick. Now, now, now. Okay. If you don't go. Oh, my cart doesn't love these inclines. We're gonna have to charge that twice a day. Yeah. That's the ship right there. Look. Say three, two, one. I got it. Here we go. Ready? Thank you. All right, look. Now we're on the boat. Look. Look over there. Look to your, look over to Daddy's side. Look. Look. That's where we were in that that's building we over were. there. Look. Now we're on that's the boat. That's where we were. Now we're on the boat. Yeah. Now we're hand washing station. Yeah. All right, we have to wash our hands and we go in. All right. We're getting ready to watch the sail off. We just went swimming for a little bit. Well, Harrison did. And uh, we're getting ready to sail off. Again. Mama's videoing. Get it over there. <laughs> Good job. Almost. Almost. <laughs>
<laughs> Don't do that. I want Harrison to do something. Harrison, did you take it yet? Yeah. Harrison, come here. Lay over here. I want to take a picture with you and the doggy. He's Jeez. wearing daddy's right sunglasses. Here. Right here. Come over here. Cheese. Pet the doggy. Cheese. Oh, hello. What is going on here? <laughs> what are you doing? a Monday it was a four night so we left Monday afternoon and we got back early early Friday morning and got off the ship and then we um, ubered back to um, to Orlando area actually to a hotel really close to the Orlando airport so that we could just shuttle from the um, airport I mean the hotel to the airport the next so then we flew back on Saturday our flight wasn't supposed to leave to like 730 I think um, was it 7.30? Yeah, I think 7.30 from Orlando. We had a stop in Fort Lauderdale, and then we were going to fly um, a connecting flight from Fort Lauderdale back to Denver. We were still going to get home like at midnight, but that's just kind of the way <laughs> the cookie crumbled. Um, however, it did not go so well. When we, we were there for, I don't know, four or five hours, five hours, six hours, we went and ate, sat down and ate dinner and all that stuff because we had to check out of the hotel on Saturday um, at like 11 or 12, 12, and they shuttled us to the airport, but then our flight didn't leave to like 7.30, so we couldn't even check in. Like, we had to wait before we could even check in. In fact, I think we went and ate at a restaurant uh, to spend some of that time. So we finally got checked in and then went as early as we could, and then went and sat at our gate for another few hours, and um, time started rolling around. So time started getting closer. And I was like, it's time to board, but we haven't been called on to board yet. And it got later and later, and they were, and they said this flight has been delayed to like 9:30, which is when our Fort Lauderdale plane was supposed to leave. And because there's not a first officer, we don't have a first officer. And so I knew we were in trouble. We, I went and stood in a line, um, stood with my scooter, uh, in one line to try to to see if we could rebook or figure something out because we were going to miss our connecting flight for sure but then like uh i don't know 45 minutes an hour later of me standing there waiting 
they called everybody back to the, the gate and said, you know, we have someone, we're getting ready to board. So we ended up boarding. We asked them about our connecting flight. They said they're going to hold the plane in Fort Lauderdale for you. Um, they didn't because we spent 45 minutes. It was only like a 40 minute flight, but we spent 45 minutes on the tarmac waiting to be escorted into the gate there in Fort Lauderdale. So they let the plane go. And it was a horrible, horrible night because um, we had to go down to rebooking to book. And um, I spent an hour and a half, two hours in that line. I was the last one in. They said, we can fly you out on Monday. This was like midnight, Saturday night, 1 o'clock in the morning, something like that. 1, 1 30 in the morning. And um, we were very upset. Sean was very frustrated. And so they sent us upstairs and said, hey, we can't do nothing else for you. So we went upstairs to where there was a manager. After frustration, long debate, they got us on a flight out on Sunday afternoon, uh, which meant we were going to miss another week of church. We had just missed one. We didn't want to miss two, but we ended up missing two. So we had to Uber to a hotel. So we got there at 2, over like 2.13 in the morning. Harrison was so sleepy and so exhausted. He had fell and hit his head while we were in the airport. So he had a big old goose bump on the back of his head. And so we were really worried about him. We were exhausted. And so we went and found a hotel. And um, it was kind of, eh. But it was like 200 and some dollars a night. But we just needed a hotel. Many people were already camping out in the hotel. I mean, in the in the um the airport for the night and i knew we couldn't do that so there wasn't a lot of availability but we finally found a hotel even though it wasn't the nicest but um and so we uh were able to uber to the hotel but we were able to shuttle back from this hotel to the airport so that that saved a little bit there too and we didn't have any problems flying home we flew home straight from fort lauderdale to denver and got home sunday afternoon so the trip was great the trip home the 36 hours home was exhausting and frustrating and awful but we had a great vacation so anyway if you like this video make sure you give us a thumbs up make sure you like subscribe and uh for all of our great adventures and we'll see you on the next one bye